and good afternoon to you if you're watching me for the, with this um, tapping video, this live tapping, which is all about feeling icky about selling on social media. I'm just going to share this into my group, bear with me. There we go. Um, so yeah, I'm sure that if you've been in business even just a while or maybe a long time that you often feel this kind of sense of, oh God, I've really got to try and sell this thing on social media, I've got this new product, this new service, and I want to share it with people, but I'm scared it's just going to look a bit grubby and I feel really icky about it, so I'm just going to hide it. <laughs> I never ever share it. So we're going to do some tapping on that today, that feeling of ickiness that you might get about sales and selling online. So before we get started, just a few kind of health and safety bits and pieces. Um, because of COVID, please make sure that you do have clean hands for tapping. So obviously you're going to be tapping on your face. So you can go and wash your hands if you need to. Uh, let me know if you're watching this on replay, by the way, I would love to know. Um, and obviously by tapping along with me, you agree to take full responsibility for your own health and well-being. So the first thing that we're going to do is just kind of tune in and just measure the intensity of how you might feel on that feeling of ickiness when you sell. So let me just put a scenario in front of you now. You can close your eyes if you want to. So say you have got a new product or service and you know that you really do need to share it because it's amazing and people really need to hear about it and you're just about to type your social media post. How anxious would you say you're feeling about that? How icky would you say you're feeling about that on a scale of one to ten? So ten is, my God, Susanna, I feel completely icky. I cannot do it. <laughs> I'm just going to run away and I'm never ever going to share it down to zero which would be actually I feel really calm about sharing my stuff online like there's no ickiness at all um so just uh, right, rate that score and you can let me know in the comments if you like what your score is on a scale of one to ten about the ickiness and what we're going to try and do from tapping through tapping is just reduce that intensity even if you reduce it by a little bit, that's a step in the right direction and that's amazing. So we're gonna start tapping now. So I always like to start with my hand just on my chest here, taking a few nice deep breaths, just coming into this space. Just feeling really grounded. You can put your feet on the floor if you need to, just sitting comfortably, breathing deeply. Just coming into this lovely tapping space. And then we're just gonna start tapping on the karate chop point. Now, all you need to do is just copy what I do. So <laughs> it doesn't matter which hand that you tap on, you can tap on either hand, it's absolutely fine. You can swap if you want to. And we're gonna say what's called a setup phrase. Now, it's really important with tapping that you are as specific as possible. So. If there are any words that I'm using that don't feel quite right to you, or you want to insert some words of your own, or you want to insert some swearing, whatever you want to do, just go with it. <laughs> it's absolutely fine, as long as it kind of fits with you and how you're feeling, that's the most important thing. And you can repeat these words out loud or in your head, it's entirely up to you. So even though the word selling makes me feel icky, insert appropriate word, grubby, <laughs> sleazy. I accept myself and how I'm feeling. Even though I've been feeling pressure to just sell in my business, I choose to be kind to myself today. Even though I'm really worried that if I share my stuff people are going to think that I'm salesy. I choose to deeply and completely love, honour and accept myself. And then up to the eyebrow point, you can tap on either side, you can tap on both, either is fine. Selling just feels so icky. <laughs> side of the eye, the thought of selling just makes me feel really anxious. Under the eye. And it's holding me back in my business. Under the nose. It's stopping me from doing the things that I know I want to do. Perhaps things that I should do. 
chin point and I see other people sharing and selling their stuff on social media. Collarbone point. But I just don't feel like I can do that. Under the arm. I just don't feel like I can sell. Top of the head. So I don't. <laughs> I don't share it. eyebrow point and it's almost like I'm deliberately not telling people about the things that I sell <laughs> for fear of being too salesy. Side of the eye and even when I am brave enough to share something about my offerings under the eye it takes me forever to write the post under the nose and I keep deleting it and rewriting it. Chin point. And then when it's out there, I just don't feel good about it. And I might even want to delete it. Collarbone point. Because I just don't know what to say without seeming salesy or icky. <laughs> under the arm because it feels like I'm just shamelessly self-promoting and selling my stuff. Top of the head, like it's all me, me, me. <laughs> Eyebrow point and it just makes me when I run away and hide. Side of the eye. And selling just can feel really sleazy sometimes. Under the eye. And I wish I could get over this feeling. Under the nose of sales feeling icky. Chin point. And maybe I know of examples where sales did or do feel icky. Collarbone point. That stereotypical sleazy salesman. <laughs> Under the arm, pressuring people to make decisions. Top of the head, overloading people with confusing information. Eyebrow point, and even tricking people to make a sale. side of the eye and I, I hate that I don't like that kind of selling under the eye and I don't want to be associated with it under the nose but maybe there is a new way that I can look at this chin point Maybe the way I'm looking at things is keeping me stuck. Collarbone point, keeping me stuck in this selling feels icky place. <laughs> Under the arm. So the first thing I can think about is how I am. Top of the head. Am I like a sleazy salesperson? eyebrow point. Do I jump on people trying to sell them stuff the moment they comment on my social media posts? Side of the eye. Do I manipulate people to buy my stuff? Under the eye. Do I use marketing tactics like bait and switch? scarcity or other tactics under the nose do I put extreme pressure on people chin point and the answer to that and to all those questions 
collarbone point is no, I don't. Under the arm, I am a kind hearted person. Top of the head, and I would never employ those tactics. Because what is my intention if people are interested in my stuff? Side of the eye. My intention is to answer their questions honestly. Under the eye. My intention is to share information with them. Under the nose. My intention is to help them. Chin point. It's as simple as that. Collarbone point. And there may be other things to consider. Under the arm. One of those things that there, is that there are thousands of people out there in the world. Top of the head. Who would deeply, deeply appreciate my products or my services. Eyebrow point. So is it right that I should keep my offerings out of view, <laughs> hidden? Side of the eye. Is it appropriate for me as a business owner to not share my offerings with the world? Under the eye. And I can remember that word, share. <laughs> under the nose, because that is all I am doing. Chin point, I don't need to sell, sell, sell. <laughs> Collarbone point, I can share calmly and gracefully and honestly. Under the arm, I just need to give people the facts. top of the head, the benefits of my offerings. Eyebrow point, how it may help them. Side of the eye, how it might make their life easier in some way. Under the eye, and it would be a complete disservice for me not to share what I'm offering with people. Under the nose, it would be a disservice to keep that stuff hidden away. Chin point. So I'm telling myself now that it's safe for me to share my products or my services on social media. Collarbone point. I give myself permission to reframe things a little. under the arm, reframe selling as sharing. Top of the head and knowing that my intentions come from a good place. Eyebrow point, I'm a good person. Side of the eye and it's okay for me to share what I offer. Under the eye, it is right and appropriate that I share information about my business and my offerings. Under the nose, otherwise how will people know how to buy? <laughs> Chin point, because there's a really important thing in selling, if you like, sharing, marketing. Collarbone point is that you have to tell people what they need to do. Under the arm, give them a path. Make it easy for people. Top of 
of the head. And it's right that you make it easy for your clients and your customers. Eyebrow point. And it's also safe and appropriate for you to make money from running your business. Side of the eye. And I know that if I share something and people aren't interested in it, under the eye, then they will just scroll on by. Under the nose, just as I scroll on by, when I see a post that I'm not interested in at that time. Chin point. And provided that it's within the rules or guidelines of the platform that I'm using or the group that I'm selling in. Collarbone point. It is okay to share my stuff. Under the arm. I can be an ethical sharer. Top of the head. I can stay true to my values. Eyebrow point. I can come from a place of service and not sales. Side of the eye. And if I get triggered in any way when I see what other people are doing online. Under the eye. I can look within and be curious about why I might feel that way. under the nose and there might be people that I look at online doing it right. Chin point, doing things the way that I would like to do things. Collarbone point, sharing in the way that I would like to share. Under the arm, earning money from the business in a way that I would like to earn money from my business. top of the head with integrity and with honesty. Eyebrow point and that can inspire me and the way that I share my business. Side of the eye and it feels really good to have reframed selling being icky. <laughs> under the eye because selling or sharing are not dirty words under the nose it's safe and appropriate for me to earn money doing what i do chin point and it feels good to feel okay about this now feel confident even that it's okay that i have permission a bone point that I give myself permission under the arm and I can just embrace that confidence and let go of the ickiness let go just let go wherever you feel that in your body just let it go top of the head feeling much more grounded feeling calmer and feeling more confident about sharing my amazing beautiful gorgeous <laughs> needed wanted desired offerings okay so you can just stop tapping there hand just on your chest if you've got any residual ick, you can just carry on tapping on your collarbone point. But if not, just take a nice deep breath in and out. And then another one, just breathing in and out. And then you're just gonna check in with yourself again. So like we did at the beginning, just rating that intensity of feeling about selling. So on the ick scale, 
like selling something online would feel like, oh, I really don't want to do this. This is awful. I don't want to do my business anymore. I'm going to run away. That would be like a 10 on the scale. Down to zero would be feeling really quite calm and cool and okay about selling, sharing online. And just rate that intensity again. And you should have got a shift downwards. Um, any, any movement at all is great, even if it's just one or two, it's still working towards that goal of getting down to zero. And whenever you feel the ick about what you're doing, you can just use this tapping video anytime that you need to, to hopefully feel a bit more okay about sharing your stuff because it needs to be out there. You need to be sharing it with people because they're not going to know how to buy from you. If all you're doing is sharing lovely graphics and memes and other nice things online without actually selling your amazing, lovely, beautiful things, then you're really doing a disservice to your audience who will want to buy from you. And remember to just make it as easy as possible. So when you are sharing information about your products or your services, always remember that CTA at the end, and that's your call to action. So don't leave people hanging. Don't tell them about something of yours, which is brilliant, and then don't let them know where, where they need to go to buy it. Put that link at the end. And if you feel weird about saying buy here or purchase here, just put learn more here and then they can go off to a little bit more information about that particular offering. Or you could put, if you have any questions, then please message me. Always have that call to action at the end of everything that you're doing so people know exactly what they need to do. Um, don't forget as well to have a glass of water or a drink to stay hydrated. We're working with energy when we're tapping, so sometimes you can feel a little bit afterwards <laughs> so hopefully you're feeling okay let me know how you get on let me know if you had any aha moments or any feelings of like you really want to get out there now and share your stuff i would love to know thank you for tapping with me bye